So the first step is to get your sheathing foam and put it into your tree. Um, you don't need absolutely masses of it, but you want to kind of create a reasonable coating. This one's starting to run out. Should be okay. Um, use your paintbrush just to, if you're using gel type of foam, just to start to foam up the surface. Uh, so you want a coating on the bottom of the tree. As you work the foam, it'll start to go into a lather and then you end up with a sort of meringue-like consistency. It's quite therapeutic doing this, really. It also smells quite nice. So once the gel's been worked into a foam, you want the base of the tree to be more or less covered. It doesn't have to be super smooth. Um, something kind of meringue-like is fine. So then you can get rid of that. And then I would just dump that into my lacy tub. The next stage is to put your food dyes in, your colours. So you can choose which colours you want. You might want a combination of one or two, or you might just want to go completely wild and use all of the colours. I'm going to use a pipette, but you can also just pour it in or even decant some into yoghurt pots. That also works. So here we're going to use some red. So I'm just going to drop some of the colour onto the surface of the foam. You don't have to worry about the pattern yet because the marbling happens during the squeegee process, uh, which is the next step. But the first step here is to just get plenty of colour on. So we've got some red there and the next colour I think I'm going to use is blue. Let's put some yellow in there as well. These are just ordinary um, food dyes as well. I bought them in Asda, they're only 79p. Um, they might stain your fingers, so you could use gloves, but it's nothing that soap and water won't sort if you do get a little bit on your hands. Once you have your colours, it's a good sound effects here. Uh, it's a good idea to put the lid on the food dyes off so that you don't spill anything, especially if you're working in a kitchen. So the next stage, and this is the fun part, I'm going to sit down again for this, is to take your swirling stick, and this is a bit that kids can have a lot of fun doing, and um, you can start to swirl your colours into a pattern. So you can drag the stick through the foam, and you can make quite deliberate patterns or you can just go completely wild and swirl the patterns as much as you want. You can see it's already starting to have the appearance of marble. So what I'm doing now with this kind of dragging the stick through is called feathering. You can actually also use a, an old plastic comb I prefer to just use a stick, I think it's a bit more control. You could also make swirly patterns if you wanted to. So I'm going to put the stick out of the way. If you've got any on your hands, it's useful to have a little uh, wipe down there. So the next stage, once you've got your uh, foam ready, is to take your paper. And this is where your second tray is going to come in because you're going to use this to uh, squeegee off the excess foam. But first of all, you place your paper on the surface of the tray and then just gently press it down. So it doesn't need to go right to the base of the tray. You just want the paper to be able to absorb some of those colours. 
and try not to get any uh, air bubbles underneath because then you'll end up with a bald patch on your marbled paper. Okay, so now's the messy bit. We're going to peel the paper off and we're going to place it face up in the tree. So we'll just get the edge. And as you can see here, we'll just peel the paper off. We've got a couple of bald bits, but that's okay. So we're going to place the paper face up in the other tree. So this is the empty tree. And then we're going to uh, use the squeegee. Now you can use a plastic ruler or you can use a piece of cardboard. I'm going to use cardboard in this instance. So just pinch the very end of the paper to pin it down. And then you're going to use the squeegee and just drag it across the paper to remove the excess foam. And what you'll see is left behind is a lovely pattern based on what you swirled with your swirling. So there's always a little bit at the end there. So I usually turn the squeegee over and just drag that off as well. And then you can use, if you see here, you can uh, take off the excess foam at the edge of the tree. And the only thing left to do now is to hang it up to dry.